when I took my dog to the vet the first time, uh, she was, uh, I don't know, a year old when I adopted her. And the vet told me, don't let your dog eat dark chocolate. I don't know if you know this, but I've it's... I've heard this, that yeah. it's, dark chocolate is supposed to be poison to dogs. It kills them. And vets won't explain it further, either. It's like, why does it kill them? Oh, it's just, they die. Like, they won't tell you why. <laughs> like, what do I do if my dog eats dark chocolate? Watch her die or leave the room. <laughs> so... <laughs> but the, the vet did tell me there's one thing you can do which is give your dog hydrogen peroxide. And that foams up in the dog's belly, and then they throw it up with the chocolate. That's what you should know to do that. But uh, you gotta do it quickly before they ingest the chocolate. All right, so I come home like uh, six months later, sure enough, my dog had dark chocolate. I had friends who had stayed over, and they didn't know. They left dark chocolate in low places. Right. <laughs> which is very uh, popular. Here's a good place for this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> could put it on this high shelf, right. but I think oh. not. They put it way down. I may be crawling on the floor later. That's right. <laughs> and I might not need a snack. So what, so you so come my home dog, and had your dog eaten it? Eaten a whole big bar of oh dark Polish chocolate. The Polish part doesn't matter, but I like saying Polish chocolate. <laughs> and, uh, and my dog had chocolate on her face, and, and I went, oh my God! And she looked at me like, I was home for an hour alone, what are you gonna, you know, come on. <laughs> And I was like, you're gonna die! And she's looking at me like, I don't understand English, but I get that you're upset. And, uh, and so I'm thinking, I gotta get hydrogen peroxide into this dog, but I don't have any, so I've gotta go to the pharmacy, and she needs to come with me, because there's no time. Right. I'm in New York City, and I take my, I put the leash on her, she's like, excited, we're going for a walk! And I'm running, and she's like, this is great for you, you never exercise, and she's just enjoying it. And then we get to the pharmacy, and she's waiting for me when I come out, and I've got a bottle of hydrogen peroxide that I have to make her drink. Yeah. Like, take yourself through that. How do you make a dog like you just hear, drink this, you know? So I kind of pour a little in her snout, and she goes like that. And so I kind of grab her, and I pour a little more. She, she goes, I think I was pretty clear that I didn't like that. Like, she looks at me like, she's trying to figure out what's going on here. And so I get my whole body around her. This dog was 70 pounds. She was like an alligator. Yeah, and if yeah. she didn't want to drink something, she's just thrashing. I'm like, drink it! And at one point, I have her on the end of the leash, and she's looking at me all wet and on the face, and she gives me this look like, I don't know what happened to you, but our thing is over. I'm not into you anymore. I'm a dog. And she starts going, Rrr. she became completely vicious. Rrr. She's trying to bite me, and I'm trying to save her life. Yeah. So I'm literally, I'm punching her in the face <laughs> and splashing this stuff. I'm holding her lip open. I'm going, Drink that! <laughs> kicking her in the stomach. <laughs> And people, I look, and there's, there's hundreds of people on the sidewalk just <laughs> horrified. Yeah, yeah. There's cars stopped, and they're honking at me. <laughs> Leave her alone! <laughs> She's gonna die! I'm like, it was a nightmare. And finally, I got enough in her, up her nose and whatever. Right, right. And she was like, dude, uh, <laughs> just, huh? <laughs> and then she, just like a pump, just boop, 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 and just brown yeah, foam. Yeah, yeah. Brown, like she's like another dog is coming out of her, <laughs> and she made it, but she never liked me. My car one time, and a Bruce Springsteen song comes on, and it made me really sad. It's like Jungle, what the one's the one Jungle? Jungle song. Land. Jungle. This one where he goes, Hurry! and he sounds far away. You know, it's like that's that's, that's half. That's half of them. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of them. No, he goes, Hey, hey, go! And it's really far away sounding. Yeah. Can you do it with the reverb? Can you do hey, hey! No, they're not doing it. They're not trying to So. <laughs> nee, nee, ho! Like that? Yes. Yeah. Except for it was Springsteen. If it was you doing that, I would have been like, what the hell is that in my radio? <laughs> I did it just the same yes. as Bruce. And I heard it, and it gave me kind of like a fall back to school depression feeling. It made me really sad. Yeah. And I go, okay, I'm getting sad. I gotta get the phone and write hi to like 50 people. <laughs> and then, you know, somebody cool writes back, and then somebody not as cool writes after, and I'm like, oh, f you, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I, got somebody, I got somebody better. <laughs> but, uh. Hey, how come you didn't answer my text? <laughs> Speaking of which, yeah, well, yeah, because he well, wrote, he yeah. wrote first. That's right. <laughs> so, anyway, I started to get that sad feeling, and I was reaching for the phone. Then I said, "You know what? Don't. 
just be sad. Just let the sad, just stand in the way of it and let it hit you like a truck. <laughs> and I f let it come and bruise, and I just started to feel, oh my God. And I pulled over and I just cried like a bitch. I cried so much. And, I, and it was beautiful. It was like this beautiful, it's just this, sadness is poetic. You're, you're lucky to live sad moments. And then I had happy feelings, because because when you let yourself feel sad, yes. your body has like antibodies. It has happiness that comes. Rushing in. Rushing in to meet the sadness. So you're, I was grateful to feel sad, and then I met it with true, profound happiness. It was such a trip, you know, and the thing is, because we don't want that first bit of sad, yeah. we push it away with like a little phone third <laughs> for the food, <laughs> and you get, you get a little kind of, You never feel completely sad or completely happy. Right. You just feel kind of satisfied with your product. Yes. And then you die. <laughs> so that's why I don't want to get a Being back in New York reminds me how New Yorkers do not hide their emotions. And you're here a lot, obviously, and, yeah. and, and I find that to be quite refreshing. A little scary sometimes, but it's very nice. refreshing. It's nice, because when people are all acting nice, you gotta assume that they're lying. Right. It's not, human nature is to be a little bit <laughs> all the time, you know? Yeah. So. But I, like, I was in a, I was watch, I was in a, I was shopping for groceries, mm -hmm. and I looked over, and there was a woman standing over there, and as I looked over, she looked away, in a way that I knew she'd been looking at me the whole time. Mm -hmm. And she went like, ugh. <laughs> like that, just looking at me like, ugh. And then I'm walking in another aisle, same store, and some guy saw me, and he looked me up and down and went, ah. And he just, and I was like, I know, but how do you know? You know, like, you... <laughs> what's getting through? <laughs> what's coming through? So anyway, then I was on the subway, mm -hmm. and I'm standing on the subway, and I have to stand up to show you. I'm yeah. standing on the subway like this. This is me on the subway, right. and there's a person here. You know, this is my corresponding, you, yours the stander, and there's your sitter. <laughs> looker at Dicker. They're just right there. I mean, that's what they have no choice. They're sitting like this and you're standing over them. I mean, women are decent and they stand like sideways, but we just go like, hey, there you go. There you go. That's for you the whole time. But anyway, so the fellow who's sitting here, he's instead, usually they tune out your dick. Like they just kind of, but he's looking right at it. He's looking right here. <laughs> so he's looking, and he's kind of looking at it. Like, what's up with that? Yeah. And then he looks up at me and he goes. <laughs> and that's not, that makes me uncomfortable. And then he goes, points right at my dick. And then I realize, I look down, my fly is open. And, I, and not, only, not only is it open, it's aggressively, it's like. It's not like a pants, like a slit, like a pants vagina. It's like a, like a grizzly bear's asshole. That would be accurate. And. Um, so, you so are, okay, so like I decided I don't want to be on the internet anymore. I don't like the way it feels anymore, especially on my, in my hand, the devices. I don't like this thing that I stare into this thing and uh, it just, it makes me feel upset. And I look at things that I know are gonna upset me. You know, I guess I just like the hit from going, oh, yeah, <laughs> you know? Like I'll go on my computer and I'll like Google an image that I don't want to see. So then I see a whole wall of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like big dicks with nails in them. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> sir, sir, you're gonna have to leave the library. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so, uh, anyway, so I decided I don't want to, and also so you just I have, quit the internet. Wow. Well, I have kids, uh, two daughters, and I, and I uh, sometimes I'll be with my daughter, and she's mm -hmm. talking to me, and we're talking, and then bling, my phone goes bling, so I'll just go down like this. And my kids are nice people, so they just wait. <laughs> uh, but I started to realize a few things. One thing I realized in life is that you can't just go by how a person reacts to you. You can't just go like, oh, it's all right with her. Right. Because she's my kid, but she dies inside every time I do this. Because right, because she thought she had a real connection yeah. with you, and then something glings. Yeah, I mean, that happens to you. Like, if you're talking to a person, and then they just go like this, they, yes. just, they just disappeared. 
Yeah. It's a horrible abandonment. And when it's your father, just like, uh huh, is that right, honey? <laughs> it's just horrible. Now, Louie, I'm not doing my job if I don't ask you about the election. It's yeah. just a week away. Uh, you want to talk about it? Uh, who are you supporting? Uh, I'm going to vote for Hillary because. Yeah. Uh, I... And it's stupid to say because I'm a performer and so I'm splitting my audience in half, but right. uh, I think she's great. It's not a sec like a lesser of two evils. I think she's great. I really like her. I think she's really talented and I think she's super smart mm -hmm. and I think she's done this for, I, I would take her over anybody. There really isn't some, it's not because between the two of them, I would take her over any, anybody else that would do it. Um, and to me, it's really exciting to have the first uh, mother in the White House. That's what I think this is. It's not about the first woman, it's about the first mom. Now, what is it about, me, uh, about a mom? Because a mother, she's got it. A mother just does it. She's got your, she, she, she feeds you and teaches you, she protects you, yeah. she takes care of A father, we've had 240 years of fathers. Yeah. yeah. Father after father, bald father, fat father, every kind of father. <laughs> And fathers are okay. I'm a father. Yeah. You're a dad. You're a dad. Yeah, yeah. We a, fa a great father can give a kid forty percent of his needs. Top. <laughs> Top out of forty percent. <laughs> Tops out at forty percent. Yes. Yes. Any mother. That, that's, that's optimistic. That's yeah. optimistic. Yeah. Any mother. Uh, just a <laughs> mother. Like just a not even trying mother. Two hundred percent. Like she can't. <laughs> mothers, <laughs> mothers do too much. Like at, what's the last conversation you had with your mom was probably mom. All right. Yeah. It's enough. Like yeah. they just, eh. They just keep. So to me, she's like, like it's, it's exciting to think about. I'm excited about this election because because she, I don't want it to be the other guy just, look, if you vote, I'm not, I don't have no problem when anybody votes for Trump if that's your ideology. Uh, you know, although four more years of this, I don't know if we can do, because this is four more years of a guy who can't be uh, criticized. What's more important than, about a president than that you can all over them. That's what presidents are for. Yeah. I guy sucks. Like that's the point of the president is to get drunk and blame them for everything, everything. and yes. accuse them of this guy. Every time he's criticized, everything stops and he makes everybody pay. Yeah. That's not how it works. We need somebody who can take abuse. Yes. Hillary yeah. Clinton can take abuse. She's yeah. taking it and taking it. This is what's been going on. We've been hazing her. We've been it's holding been her down and spitting in her mouth and yelling at her. And she just gets up and goes, well, I just think that if uh, children have proper health care and education, she just keeps working. Yeah. So I'm totally in it for her. Now, Louis, you have, you want people, yes, you want, 